Hey guys, this is David with Mercer Outdoors coming to you today from the driveway. I got, uh, I know you guys, uh, anybody who has Motor Guide XI5s knows about the, the problems that they've been plagued with. Fortunately, mine's been pretty trouble free. It, it, it'll quirk out every once in a while, but there's a new update. It's updatable from a software update, so you no longer have to wait on a dongle um, to be delivered to you. If your motor guide is linked to your low ranch or simrad through the gateway, which mine is. So today we're gonna do the update and I'm gonna walk you through it. So you guys come go with us. Okay guys, I'm gonna walk you through the setup here. Um, so what you'll need is a 32 gigabyte micro SD so stick that in an adapter and stick that in your computer come to the motorguides.com website to be honest the quick way to find it what I did is I just typed in XI5 SWUP22 in Google top hit right there is XI5 XI series software update on the motor guide site that's just a little quick helps you get to where you want to be so let's read this XI series software update for consumers network to a low rants or a simrad MFD via the gateway kit uh, this is going to solve issues I think we're all aware you want to make sure and download the uh, the XI pinpoint installation instructions before beginning um, so we'll get that get to that in the minute in a minute Here It says you'll need a 16 gigabyte or 32. I happen to have 32s uh, So we're going to download the files below You'll note that when we, when I click download on these there's going to be a file pop-up in in Google uh, in, in a new tab and we're going to click the download icon We'll download that file to to a place on our computer somewhere you can remember, and then we'll load that file onto the SD card. So let's do that now. So here's the 22 file. Okay, so here's the Google text editor. We're just going to hit the download button in the upper right hand corner right here. That's going to download it to my downloads folder on my computer so let's go back and let's get the 07 file do the same thing hit download so now I'm on a Mac you might be on a PC um, both work the same way but basically go to where you uh, downloaded the Let me see if I can get this to come up in this screen here. Okay, so here's the file location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of these files from my downloads folder and then right here this SRD storage. This is my SD card. Uh, so I'm going to just drag and drop those two files onto that folder. Now I'm going to open up this folder and look, and there they are. So, so I know I'm good to go. So let me hit eject on this storage card, and I can safely remove it. Okay, so now let's go back to our uh, motor guide site here. And what you'll want to do is open up the installation instructions. I suggest you print that out if you can or save it to a, an iPad. Use my dogs there. Okay, 
So save that somewhere you know it's going to be. All right, I'm going to close this down and we'll uh, resume from the boat here in a few minutes. See you soon. All right, guys. So I'm in the boat. We've uh, we've already downloaded the software or the uh, the files to a SD card. It's got to be a 16 gigabyte or a 32 gigabyte. Can't be larger. Can't be smaller than that range. So uh, that's where I'm at now. I'm going to walk through these instructions here. <clears throat> Let's see. So I've made sure that my model is covered. My serial number is one of the ones or in the range of numbers that it fixes. I do have the NMEA gateway network. Um, let's see what else here. Now I'm using a SIMRAD. The, there are some varying instructions depending on if you're using low ranch or specifically the Elite FS, but that doesn't apply to me. So I just follow straight down through here following the, the regular instructions okay so step one place the file update on a 16 gigabyte or a 32 gig 32 gigabyte sd card check uh, insert the sd card into the mfd so let's do that now says to apply power to the XI trolling motor and I just did that um, deploy the trolling motor I did that it says um, power on the compatible low ranch or simrad display so let's do that now Okay, power on the NMEA network. Okay, let's do that. I've got mine wired to a switch. Verify that the pinpoint remote is paired to the trolling motor. So let's verify that, left, right. Yep, my remote is good. I just put new batteries in it. From the display menu, select files or storage. storage and I think I put that in the bottom let's see which one I put that in yeah bottom so we're gonna go memory card bottom okay select a memory card location with the update file select the SD card location and update file motor guide 2 underscore 0 underscore 0 1 underscore 0 0 so that's this one right here so we're going to select that one select upgrade select start upgrade
says wait for upgrade to complete if a no autopilot computer alarm displays hit close to silence the alarm once the upgrade is complete click OK a prompt saying trolling motor update is required may appear hit OK to start the upgrade It's all straightforward so far. Eighty two percent. It's doing pretty fast. Okay. So there's the alarm. We'll hit close. Upgrade complete. Controller motor update required. Please follow the on screen instructions. So it said to say OK. Upgrade complete. Hit OK. Update one in progress. Do not disconnect power. Appreciate you guys watching. While we're waiting on us, but while we're waiting here, don't forget to visit our online store, MercerOutdoors.com. We got all kind of stuff for boating and fishing and uh, marine outdoor-related products. So you just guys check it out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. We love doing this stuff for you guys. Like I say, I've been pretty lucky. Oh, I just heard the trolling motor make a tone. Like it restarted and started. Um, I've been pretty lucky. Mine's been pretty trouble free. The only thing mine really does is is if I'm in heading lock mode and I want to jog left or jog right and adjust the heading. If I jog right, it'll take a it'll take a quick jump to the left before it goes right and it's it's just like really wonky so the workaround I've always had to do was just turn off head and lock readjust the the motor uh, direction and then re-engage heading lock so that's not great but that's been the uh, the workaround for me so if this fixes that I'll be really happy I know some people have had a lot more extreme problems than that but like I say I've been pretty lucky Okay, update two. Disconnect trolling motor for five seconds and then reconnect to continue. So let's go do that. I've got my trolling motor wild, wired to a, a, a breaker bar bus type switch that I can uh, disconnect the power easily right here in the helm. So disconnect for five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. All right, power back on. And reconnect to continue. Sweet, trolling motor is up to date. Hit OK. see here so I need to go into settings network and device list and verify that the motor guide GPS software version is in ending in one zero zero it appears that everything went as normal though. Let's see. So let's go to settings. 
network. Device list. Motor guide GPS. Okay. That's correct. One one zero zero one zero 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 two. And that's what I upgraded to. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so after update. Power. <clears throat> Provide power to the XI trolling motor. Deploy the motor. Once GPS satellite is acquired, power on all MFDs. On screen display, go to pages, settings, network, select auto configure. Global MFD sonar settings such as water temperature, depth, heading, device might be changed after performing auto configure. So perform a compass. A, so when I get out on the water, I'm going to have to do a compass calibration. Which I can't do here in the driveway. Disconnect power. Then I'll perform a kill alignment. Then the motor will be ready for normal operation. So that's pretty simple. All I've got to do is that those last couple steps once I get to the water. Well, I hope this helps. Um, I will re I will video uh, those steps, but that those are really easy and pretty common. So. Um, you guys, if you have any questions at all, just uh, feel free to, to reach out, you know, put it in the, the comments section. I'll be glad to help anybody I can. So you guys uh, appreciate you watching and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the water. Thanks again. Have a great day.